Welcome everyone to the fourth webinar in the LuxXL webinar series. Today's webinar focuses on 3D printed lenses to create better smart glasses. In case you missed any of our previous webinars, make sure to take a look at our website to view the recordings. Let me start this webinar by introducing our enthusiastic panelists of today's webinar. The first panelist today is our Chief Strategy Officer Guido Groth. The second panelist today is Juan Carlos Durstler. He is our Senior Vice President of Application Engineering. Janet Cunningham, our third panelist, is our Director of Business Development. And my name is Eva Flipse. I'm LuxXL's Marketing Manager. So let's start this webinar and Janet, can you kick off today? Sure, thanks Ava. All right, so let's get started. As a review from previous webinars, or to catch up if you haven't joined us before, it's important to know that LuxXL is the only company in the world able to 3D print ophthalmic quality lenses. We offer a turnkey solution, including all the components needed to make our lenses. This combined technology package is called the Vision Platform, and it includes the printer, software, the process, and also our family of printing materials. When we talk with people the first time, some think our lenses are just a concept or an idea, but it's important to know this technology exists today and our lenses are being sold commercially today our lenses have been tested by third parties and they meet the requirements for prescription eyewear. This includes ISO and ANSI standards and also FDA requirements. During our printing process, we can embed items like smart foils, waveguides, sensors, and then continue to print the rest of the lens with the object inside. This is unique in the world and positions LexXL perfectly to make smart eyewear lenses with prescription, which look like normal streetwear or fashion eyewear. In the example shown here, you can see an electric chromic foil, which is embedded inside of the lens. Later in today's webinar, Juan Carlos will talk more about this. So it's important to take away that LuxXL offers the only solution in the world to 3D print lenses, and that we offer a unique opportunity to embed smart features inside of a prescription lens. It is a proven technology today, and it's ready for commercial smart prescription eyewear. So why would you want to 3D print a lens? Because there's a lot of legacy options to make lenses, but 3D printing offers many benefits. So the supply chain for lenses is really cumbersome. Blanks are shipped from all over the world and many of them must be stocked where they just wait to be required. Then they're tooled heavily to create the prescription that's needed. So making 3D printed lenses on demand saves more than 30 steps in the lens manufacturing chain. 3D lens printing allows customization for specific patients' needs. It's not feasible to stock the number of SKUs that one would need to make all of the variables. In even the most common prescriptions, that would be millions of combinations. Our technology offers the opportunity to make lenses which are difficult or impossible to make with legacy manufacturing methods. More importantly, our process allows a unique method of embedding and integrating technology inside a lens as the lens is being made. So how do we make our lenses? We start with a bottle of liquid printing material. We make very small droplets, nearly a mist, and build the lens from the inside out. There are about a billion droplets in a standard lens, so the drops are really tiny. <laughs> These droplets are jetted from our print heads onto a substrate. The lens is cured as it's being printed. In the 3D printing many of you are familiar with, getting the lens to be useful would require extreme amounts of polishing after it was printed. This is not necessary with our technology. At the end of the printing process, the lens is transparent and it has the optical and ophthalmic quality desired in the original design. 
let's watch a couple of videos together to understand this technology a little better. On the left, four lenses are being built inside the substrate on the print, inside the printer. Each time the stage passes under the print heads, the droplets make more of the lens. We use small droplets for precision and many droplets at a time for speed. The flash you see is when the droplets are cured in place by UV light. On the right, the actual printing of a lens is shown in time lapse photography. It was printed in the same method as the video you just watched on the left. Some people ask if it's being pushed up from the bottom through the holes, but that's not the case. We show it in this way to make it faster to show how we build a form. For us, you know, we just print shapes. And if we can print the shape, we can make your lens design a reality. For example, we can print freeform shapes and we plan to release a progressive lens soon. Guido, could you share more about what can be done with our technology? So let me explain the unique properties of our technology. So our technology is very precise because we use very, very small droplets. We achieve a high speed because we do not apply one droplet, but we apply many droplets at the same time in parallel. So it's a massively parallel process. We also achieve smooth lenses, so we do not require any polishing after the printing because we use droplets and droplets by themselves are very smooth. So we achieve precision, speed and smoothness. The lenses after they are printed are compatible with all traditional industry processes, for example, all kinds of coatings. Um, the technology can also print lenses in any shape, so you can have uh, free-form lenses, cylindrical aspects, spherical aspects, or anything else you can come up with, which is of course very beneficial when you're going to make um, smart glasses. And we do not have only one material, we actually have a whole family of materials providing all kinds of different properties, as far as color, temperature resistance, uh, special filters, and anything else you can come up with. So it's a whole suite of technologies that achieves a great uh, precision. So before jumping deeper into why this is all relevant for smart eyeglasses, let me first um, go a little bit deeper into a number of very important trends that we see in smart wear and in eyewear. So first of all, today the world population is 7 billion people and by 2030 there's going to be 8.5 billion of us. Many of those people will want to own a smartphone. So that's expected, the number by 2030 is expected to be 6 billion people. Another important trend that many of us here in the tech world might not be aware of is that many people need vision correction. 60% of the world population today requires vision correction. And most of those people will be wearing spectacle lenses. So that number of 60% of population requiring vision correction is gonna go up to 80%. So today we have 4 billion people needing vision correction. And in future, it's gonna be 7 billion people needing vision correction. And of course, once we start talking about smart eyewear, what you need to do is you need to combine those two. You need to combine smart, so the 6 billion people wearing, wanting, you, wanting to use smart, and the uh, 7 billion people needing to use vision correction. So if you make smart eyewear, you need to not only address the smart aspect of it, but certainly you need to address the vision portion of it. So the good news of course is that smart eyewear is an ideal um, device to bring smart to people because people w are wearing eyewear anyway. But the important thing to remember is you cannot forget the reason people are wearing eyewear, which is vision correction. So if you make if you want to make smart glasses, you need to address prescription. And um, that is a key thing to remember because with 3D print technology, you can actually do smoothly integrate smart into prescription lenses, which is an absolute requirement for smart eyewear. So how does it work? Well, today there are of course smart devices out there, um, smart eyewear devices out there. But in many cases, the prescription has been an afterthought. So that means that all the smart goes over the regular prescription eyewear, which means that the whole device is pretty unwieldy. 
So if you want to make an, a, a good looking smart device, you need to think of prescription right from the start. And you need to integrate prescription into your eyewear right from the start. And 3D printing allows you to do that. So it allows you to create a device that looks like a normal pair of eyewear glasses or spectacle lenses with integrated into it the smart functionality and adding the prescription. So encapsulating the whole smart device. And that is actually something we have a couple of very nice movies about and pictures of, which Juan Carlos is going to go into more depth. Thanks, Hido, for highlighting the core concept of our technology, which is seamless integration. Among the benefits of our unique 3D printing technology is the integration of different devices inside a pres prescription lens. Examples are the integration of passive or active foils, waveguides, or LCD displays. The principle of integration is materialized by printing one part of the optical lens on top of the foil or electronic element, then flip it around and continue printing the remaining of the optical lens. The end result is electronics embedded and wrapped around by the printed material. Important here is to say that this is no lamination process at all. Once finished, the two parts of the lens and the embedded device are one seamlessly integrated element. If we look at the video, it shows how the lens is embedding the active foil or substrate. We can see that there are different parts show us the different possibilities of integration that go from waveguides, holographic films, LCD micro displays or light fields. And in the end, any technology that can benefit from the integration. You name it. To the right, we can see actual examples of the integrated devices into the lenses. You can see clearly that in this example, a foil is integrated inside the lens. Okay, but uh, what can be integrated? By integrated technology, any device becomes an integral part of the prescription lens. This enables true smart glasses instead of bulky goggles. You have the opportunity to make smart glasses look like regular ones. But let me go into more detail about some of the devices that can be integrated. Many smartwear devices imply sending an image to be overlaid on top of the image coming from the real world. To do this, you need to change the direction of a light beam coming from one side of the frame so that it ends up in your retina. One way to do this is creating optical surfaces that direct the light through the interior of the lens where they encounter an embedded device, for example, a slanted diffraction grid that modifies the trajectory of light towards the retina. Unique about 3D printing of prescription lenses is that you can create optical surfaces not only on the front and the back, but also on the side which allows to integrate the light engine in the frame instead of in the temples. Another common way of getting the image projection into the retina is to use waveguides, which again, again, can be embedded seamlessly into the lens. 3D printed lenses allow a full encapsulation of a waveguide made from plastic or glass into a prescription lens. This protects the waveguide, but also protects the user against breakage and adds prescription to the combined device. Not only waveguides, but also, also full LCD screens can be encapsulated within a lens. Smart glasses today do not have to, the ideal form factor. With 3D printing, it becomes possible to create a prescription lens embedding any of these smart devices and create a form factor similar to a traditional lens, but with all these added functionalities. And yet another large category of possibilities rely in embedding simpler active or passive foils. For example, you can embed active electrochromic foils to get electrochromic eyewear like the one to the right, where you can activate the darkening of the lenses at will or through a pro programmable photocell. Examples of passive foils would be polarizing films, therapeutic filters or color filters to enhance contrast or simply for cosmetic appearance. 
it can be even beneficial to combine electro electrochromic film with a smart device to control the light and keep the smart device visible in full sunlight. And what about technical compliance? Uh, we are in line and com are complying with all the relevant ISO and ANSI standards, focal power, um, minimum robustness, transmittance, and uh, driving at daylight and at night, impact resistant cosmetic appearance. We also are compliant with small wear. It is possible to print on flat surfaces. It's also possible to print on curved surfaces, integrate film sensors or electronics. And also we can print on different materials that go from glass, CTA, polycarbonate, nylon, CO39, PMMA and others. Of course, depending on the different application and its associated requirements, we will need to make larger or smaller developments to fit in properly. But in principle, we can do all these things. And then, Hida, please, could you summarize the key takeaways of today's webinar? So the key takeaway from this webinar is that with 3D printing, you can create, you can enable smart eyewear. So smart eyewear requires prescription. With 3D printing, you can make inserts for existing devices. And more importantly, you can make a full integration for the future devices that are right around the corner. So you can actually make smart eyewear that looks like normal eyewear with prescription by simply integrating prescription with smart in, an, in a form factor that uh, is exactly as our normal glasses. So this technology is here today, it's available today, it's not a technology of the future. We are working with a number of companies to create these products today. Secondly, the uh, 3D printing enables uh, smart manufacturing, meaning that you don't need inventories and large supply chains. You can print the product right where, when and where you need it. And that is something that now is available for lenses too. And lastly, and maybe that's the most important portion out of this whole webinar, is 3D printing of lenses is not a prototyping technology. It's a technology that's available today, and it's a technology that can actually make huge volumes of lenses. So it's a volume manufacturing technology available for prescription lenses to make the products, the smart eyewear products that we all want. So we've been talking here in this webinar for a while now. There's a number of questions people always ask us, so we'll go through those now. We have um, collected the usual questions and we'll spend some time um, going into more depth on specific aspects uh, of the technology. Eva, can I hand it over to you? Thank you, Guido, for this nice summary. And while we were uh, hosting this webinar, we received a number of questions. And the first one is for Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, at least wonder if you can print on any material. Well, any material is a, a very broad and bold stat statement. Nevertheless, as mentioned before in another slide, we are able to print and we have tried to print in many materials that range from different types to, of glass uh, to different types of plastics of uh, many different uh, natures. Uh, of course, there are many aspects affecting the appropriate development needed because, for example, if you want to do some printing on a material that has to be in deep space at uh, very high temperatures or whatever, uh, then you, you need to uh, deal with uh, very stringent requirements and you have to make a longer development than other applications that uh, have less uh, strict rest, uh, um, requirements. But uh, in principle, uh, we have tried with different materials and we are able to develop uh, solutions for different materials. Thank you, Juan Carlos. The next question is for Janet. What is the range of optical powers we can print with our technology? Can you explain more about that? Sure, Eva. Thank you. Um, yeah, good question. We get this a lot. So uh, what we can say is that our technology can technically print any power, but we currently focus on what meets the needs of about 85% of the population who need eyewear today. And that range is minus six 
to plus six diopters of sphere power, and we print up to one and a half diopters of cylinder power. We could print other powers if it's needed for your application, but this should cover most everyone today. Thank you, Janet. Another frequently asked question is, what is our business model? Guido, can you explain more? We have we have to develop the technology to 3D print lenses. So we have the materials, we have the printers, we have the software, we have the processes, and we have all the IP. What we typically do is we work with uh, companies that want to be big in the smart space, the smart eyewear space. Um, we develop, we make sure that our technology develops the product that you require. So we work towards your specifications. We make sure that um, um, the product that comes out is exactly what you require. And as soon as we've proven that to you and to us, then we will make sure that it gets uh, implemented onto our platform. And we provide you the volume manufacturing platform to print at your location or any other lo location that uh, you think is appropriate. And uh, from there on, we uh, enter volume uh, manufacturing. So we work with a number of companies, um, a number of leaders in smart eyewear, but uh, we're always open to um, pick up new projects. So Juan Carlos, uh, in the webinar, we mentioned that we can integrate technology inside the lens. A question we received a number of times is how do we get this device inside the lens? Yeah. Uh, an important thing to point out here is that there's no assembly or lamination whatsoever. It is just printing below and above the device. So the idea is, as you know, we are, uh, our process is printing layer by layer and creating uh, a three-dimensional object. So you can place the device uh, in, in, in the proper alignment in a substrate and then you begin printing on top of this layer by layer and until you create, let's say, half of the lens. Then you have this half of the lens with the uh, partly embedded device on it. You flip it over and you continue printing on, on the, the surface so that you end up embedding completely the device into the, the lens. So that way you get uh, completely integrated in a seamless way um, the device inside the lens. Okay, thank you for elaborating on that. Another question we receive a number of times is, can you print freeform lens surfaces? Janet, can you elaborate on that? Sure, the simple answer to that is yes. We have a lot of flexibility with our platform because we print with a liquid, as you saw before in the videos. So we can make many shapes. We could even print a progressive lens. This leads to the next question. Who will provide the smart devices? Guido, can you explain more about that? Well, what we do, our competence is of course the 3D printing and the knowledge about prescription. So what we typically do is we work with partners that uh, have certain technology they want to have integrated into prescription lenses and we make sure that happens smoothly. So what we do is we work with uh, external companies that provide us waveguides, uh, holographic films, uh, LCD screens, or any other kind of device they want. And we make sure that your device gets integrated into the prescription lens. So we work with many outside partners that provide us that technology. Thank you, Guido, for addressing the final question of today's webinar session. If you are interested or have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to my colleague Janet or myself by sending an email to hello at luxxl.com. We look forward to discuss your project ideas and we are happy to host you in one of our next webinars. Thank you for attending today's session and have a great day.